How do solutions differ from compounds? And then how do they differ from other mixtures? Okay, so welcome to the solution chapter. We're gonna learn all about solutions here. So the first thing is, let's just write down what a solution is. Now a solution, for lack of a better term, is just a homogeneous mixture. Okay, so this is kind of going back to, all the way back to like in the beginning of chemistry when we learned the difference between elements, compounds, and mixtures. Now, a solution is classified as a mixture, but it's gotta be a homogeneous mixture. Now, a homogeneous mixture means that there's no difference in the mixture. There's only just one, uh, like one color to it, or you can't tell the difference between the components. So whenever you're dealing with something that's homogeneous, you cannot see the different components or we'll say substances in the mixture. And remember, just a mixture is when you have multiple different substances. So you could have two elements coming together, two different elements, that would be a mixture, two different compounds coming together, that would be a mixture. But for lack of a better term, right, a homogeneous mixture is any type of soft drink that you may drink, whether it's Pepsi or Coke, what <laughs> Pepsi versus Coke, right? Who, who's better? Me personally, I'm a Coke fan. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll start some uh, <laughs> discord. But anyway, so um, yeah, Coke, Pepsi, right? Dr. Pepper. Um, if you look at those substances, you cannot tell what is going on in there. It just looks like it's one color. That's a homogeneous mixture. But if you look at the back of a Coke can or, you know, with the ingredients of it, you'll see all these different ingredients, but they're all giving you just one single unit, a homogeneous look to it. So that's an example. So in this case, the solutions differ from the compounds is because a compound, if we just write that over here, a compound is a pure substance. You're only allowed to have one of these substances, whether it's just H2O, right? That's a compound, right? Remember a compound is when you have more than one element coming together. So if you just have H2O or you just have, you know, NaCl, that's an ionic compound. If you just have, um, you know, what, what, C6H12O6, which is sugar, glucose. If you just have these single things by themselves, that's a compound. But now a solution is when you take these different, you know, substances and you put them together. So if you have a, let's just make this pretty quick, right? If you have a glass of water, here's my lovely glass of water, right? H2O. And you're adding a... Uh, I guess we'll say, I guess we'll say salt, right? Here's my lovely salt, right? My lovely salt cubes. And the salt would be NaCl. And you're putting one substance into another substance. And if you do put salt into water, right? If you put a little salt into water and you mix it around, nothing's gonna happen, right? the salt is going to dissolve basically. So you will see just the single uh, unit. You will not be able to see all the individual salts anymore. They will be dissolved in your H2O. And whatever you're putting in, into your liquid per se, right? The smaller amount is always called the solute. And the bigger amount is always called the solvent. But then once you have 
the two of them coming together in one separate thing and you can't tell the difference, that's the solution. So a solution is always made up of a solute throwing in into a solvent. And when you mix this up, you will not be able to see the salt anymore. It will be dissolved. And that's what a solution is because it's homogeneous. Now, how does it differ from other mixtures? So before we even do that, I just want to point out one more time that a compound is a pure substance. It is just H2O or just NaCl or just sugar. You can't be having these two come into contact with each other. But then the solution, you have the multiple different substances. Now just know that other mixtures, well, there are homogeneous. And then there's, what's the other one, guys? Yeah, heterogeneous. The homogeneous mixture, one example is a solution where you have the multiple substances coming together and you can't tell the difference between what the substances are. Heterogeneous is where you can clearly see the different substances. So whether you can clearly see the different elements coming together or you could clearly see the different uh, compounds coming together, but there's a clear differentiation. The main idea here is uh, for a heterogeneous mixture is when you have oil and vinegar dressing, right? Like um, Italian dressing, best dressing ever. Unless it's blue cheese, but only blue cheese from a restaurant, right? My whole life, I've been searching for the blue cheese that they serve in like restaurants. And I've been on this quest. I've been buying like all the blue cheese from <laughs> from uh, supermarkets. And I'm so disappointed. Just never tastes the same. I guess I have to make my own. But anyway, oil and vinegar, heterogeneous. You can clearly see the oil and the vinegar because they separate. They're not the same. They're, they have different properties, polar versus nonpolar. But that's the difference here. So a solution is specifically a homogeneous mixture versus there's other mixtures that can be heterogeneous. And those are clearly not solutions because you can see the difference. And I think that's it. What do you think? Hopefully this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Tell your friends, tell your classmates, like the video. Um, we're just trying to get the word out there that this channel exists to get you ready for, you know, any exam that's coming your way. We got you guys. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.